Welcome to lesson one. In the next few minutes, you will learn the single most important feature in Weather Defender that can keep you and your family safe and alive in a weather emergency. At the end of this tutorial, you will know how to use the alert perimeter feature to create safe zones around your home, your neighborhood, and your community so that you will know about predatory weather before it's too late. Let's get started. If you have not already watched the interface primer, we highly recommend watching it first. You can pause this lesson now and follow the link on this page to watch the interface primer tutorial. Then return to this lesson when you are finished. The first time you start Weather Defender, you should see a map centered on your region of the country with a house icon at the center. This is your home location based on the address you entered when creating your account. If you do not see a house icon, or the map is not displaying the correct region. You may change your home location by selecting the Set Home tool from the Map toolbar. Then click anywhere on the map to set your new home location. Alternately, you may set your home location by entering the latitude and longitude coordinates or the street address if you select one of these options from the Set Home menu. Now that our home indicator is confirmed, we will create a perimeter around that location. First, select the Perimeter tool from the Map toolbar. Now position your mouse so that the little arrow in the upper left of the cursor is over the center of your home location. Press and hold the left mouse button and move the mouse outward away from your home. As you drag your mouse, a green circle is displayed with corresponding range in miles. This is your perimeter boundary. You can set it to any range you want, however, 20 to 40 miles is plenty large to give you sufficient warning for most storms. Now release the left mouse button to create your perimeter. Next, a screen will display with several fields. This is where we will select the types of threats to monitor and how we want to be alerted. First, enter a nickname for this perimeter that will be used in alert notifications. Then, in the box below, Select the type of threat or threats you want to be notified about. For example, if I lived in Tornado Alley, I would want to know when tornadic storms are coming. I will select the government issued tornado warnings and watches, but I'm also going to select heavy rain because sometimes government warnings are issued after a tornado has already touched down and I want to know for myself when heavy thunderstorms are inside my perimeter. Next, select how to receive the alerts. Options include audible alarm or sound effect, on-screen messages, or email or SMS text to my phone. You can test the alert method by clicking the test button. Sounds good. As long as I'm within earshot of this computer, I'll know when severe storms are entering my perimeter. Click OK to save your settings. Now you will see your perimeter on screen, indicated by a green circle. You may edit your perimeter's settings by moving your mouse cursor over the center of the perimeter and selecting Settings on the menu. This concludes Lesson 1. In this tutorial, we covered how to set or move your home indicator on the map and how to create perimeters around your home location so that you will be notified when specific threats are entering your safe zone. Thanks for watching. You have just taken a significant step towards improving your security and awareness of severe weather and protecting those who depend on you.